can't believe that I found this journal at Walmart. Like, it's so cute in marble and it just says journal. I like on the inside how the dates are. So, it has all the months and then you just circle what day it is. I think that is so cute and cool. I have so many different notebooks and journals and I go through them so fast. And I got this little, like, filing, um expanding file i was going to use this for my coupons and just little important documents i have like a whole giant well it's not giant but i have a whole filing system that i use as well but i just needed something for on the go and i'm going to use this I wish I was getting out before it's about to get dark, but my lift is not going to be here until 4.45 and it's 3.53. It's already getting dark and like, what time does it get dark? I'm going to Home Goods because I want to get some stuff for my house, or my apartment rather, for my office, for the bedroom. I think I'm going to try to find us a new like comforter set and some more pillows. I already got a lot of stuff and I'm gonna, I'm probably end up gonna do like an entire haul, all the stuff that I already got. But I'm just tired of being in my plain, plain apartment and we haven't like put anything together. Me, it, and it's much so out of my boyfriend's job that he currently works at, he's always busy. And then me just always being busy with work and I don't um have my own car right now, which I'm about to get, but I just hadn't had the time so I'm just like forget that I'm not about to be sitting in the house um I'm going to take me a lift and go look at some stuff I found the headboard though that I saw on Amazon that I'm thinking about getting us because um it was like really cute and really inexpensive so I'm like I have been saving a lot and it's time to just get all this stuff together and it's kind of motivating me to put out videos too so I can like do all the different home videos and all that stuff. So hopefully I get that, um, find some stuff today and it'll be cute. And you guys will see that in the haul along with all the stuff that I've been accumulating and haven't even put up. But I want my room to just be super cozy and comfortable and my apartment to be comfortable in general. You know what I'm saying? a comforter set I think that this gray one would be perfect Nicole Miller So I just filmed my home decor haul. Hopefully I can get that edited and up today. But I'm about to go to um, Starbucks because I have a lot of work to do. And I feel like sometimes when I work in the house, even in my office or in the bed, I just get kind of lazy. And I wanted to get out the house anyway. I'm trying to get out the house more. So I filmed the video in my office because I got to clean my room out. And um, the home decor video that I actually filmed is mostly about my room because we're redoing the room and I'm so freaking excited. I can't wait. So I'm definitely going to have a lot of like 
DIY videos coming and tours and everything because I finally got the energy to get my apartment all the way together how we want it to be. So I'm like so happy. Um, me and my boyfriend are gonna go to Ikea and Home Goods and stuff on Saturday so we can get more stuff that we actually need. Well, I put this like eight drawer together because I'm in my office by the way, but um, I'm trying to turn this into a shelf where I have a bunch of office supplies. So this is um, like the little filing thing I got and I've been collecting these folders for a long time. They actually have documents in some of them and then my thank you cards are there at this little plant. I need to hang this like little board up uh, just a candle and it smells really good. I burned it. I set some books there and a few baskets that's like holding paper but I'm trying to think of some other stuff that I can actually put here because where my desk is like this stuff is not together how I want it at all. It's just really plain. So yeah, I'm dressed and ready. I'm going to pack my stuff and then I'm going to head to Starbucks and see how much work I can get done. So guys, I got a uh, strawberry refresher with a raspberry syrup and lemonade and then a cinnamon raisin bagel. This is my favorite drink right now. So I really love getting this. It's so good. You have to try it. I have like a lot of client work to do and everything and I need to edit the videos for my clients I have to like um, send over some files. One of my clients is getting ready to have a launch party that she's going to be excited about. She has a lash line so I did her whole friend identity, um, some collateral designs and then I'm going to be doing her. She just had her photo shoot. So I'm about to do her um, website, which I'm really excited about getting the photos back and seeing them so we can get her website done. Her launch party is in March, so this is like a really big launch, my first um, big launch for the year for one of my clients. So. look I did for my everyday makeup routine I got a lot to work on when in regards to makeup definitely eyeshadow application I'm learning to blend properly I want to get some more makeup brushes from Morphe the lip color I have on came off because I ate after this but um I just got this little I put two lip glosses on but first I put this on this is velvet lippy buttery matte lip cream <coughs> in the color rosewood i got this from the beauty supply store down the street from me and they got so many different colors so i'm gonna go back and get some more it's really like a new lip where it actually matches the color of my lip right here because my top lip is darker than my bottom lip but it matches this and i use a brown lip liner to outline it um so it can blend in with my brown skin more and then on top of it i put my nyx butter gloss so it can be more glossy so if i ever want to go with matte i just use this if i want to be glossy i just use my nyx butter gloss this was I think like three or four dollars so really affordable even cheaper than the NYX butter glosses and I love it like it smells so good like what does it smell like like cookie dough or something I can't explain it just smells so freaking good so yeah I like I said I'm still a beginner so I've been watching makeup videos forever I just never hopped on board with trying to do different looks because I was always scared but I'm like you know I'm getting older I'll be 24 this year I feel like I can just try it's nothing wrong with experimenting and trying new things if it doesn't come out right that's okay but like I said I just kind of want to create an atmosphere on my platform where it's kind of judgment free I know I can't escape judgment like there's going to be people who say mean or rude things I just um, prepare for the worst and hope for the best like I don't want to have a negative outlook on it but the reason that I'm going to start recording makeup videos is not because I think I'm a makeup artist or I'm like beat to the gods because that's not the case but I just want to document it for myself to kind of show where I came from and kind of document like new techniques that I learned and plus my channel right now as far as like what my channel is about 
Um, it's been mostly lifestyle. Like I've had vlogs, I've done stuff about skincare and hygiene, I've done home videos, so I haven't done a ton of videos, but this week I recorded two videos today and then I have a couple more videos that I have being uploaded this week but I'm trying to up my consistency in my game on YouTube because if you don't know like YouTube had done this thing a couple of weeks ago where they said that if you did not have 4,000 watch time hours then your videos will no longer be monetized now my videos have been monetized for a while so um I think the last time I checked, I was so close to 4,000 hours and I converted it to minutes when I looked on YouTube. So I was about like at, and you have to have it in the last 365 days. Like every day, it's the last 365 days. So today, I'm at 235,000 minutes, which is, um, for 4,000 hours, you need 240,000 minutes. So I'm at 235,000 minutes. I need 5,000 more minutes in order to be safe from my platform being demonetized on the 21st so i'm definitely uploading more videos so i can get that watch time but it's in, been increasing rapidly like i was just at like 215,000 minutes last week so i've been getting a lot of watch time even though i haven't been uploading like that so i am grateful for that but i'm gonna keep consistently uploading so i can be safe from <laughs> having my channel demonetized like I don't want that to happen. Um, I've only gotten one YouTube check, so it's not like I'm balling or nothing like that from YouTube, but it is nice to know that, you know, being a creative and putting your effort and time into your creativity or just editing and uploading and filming that you are compensated, especially to be able to have ads and I don't think it's anything wrong with that but even if my channel was demonetized I would still record and I would still film because it's fun it's kind of like a creative outlet it just helps you um if you're a talker like me I just come and talk and I probably rant and y'all probably get tired of me talking so much but I like it so yeah um I'm just switching and switching shifting I mean some stuff on my channel and kind of make it more lifestyle and beauty related so um yeah that's the future for my youtube channel it's about 4 36 right now i'm waiting on my boyfriend to get home i'm gonna ask him if he wants to go get ice cream and go to a park or something it's really nice outside today for it to be february 12th back in our hometown which is only two hours away it was a snowstorm and we did not get hit with it so i'm happy about that so i want to see if he wants to like maybe go for a walk or something or just go sit and get ice cream or something because it's so pretty out like why waste a day in the house so yeah um that's all I got for right now